All right, this is a quick video. Quick, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but in that box right here is one of those snap lock dollies. This is the, right here, let's see, came from the director from the receipt. It's the model SL1500 for the capacity D6R. And it's the, again, 1500 capacity all-terrain professional e-track dolly in red they do have a, a, a version in black and then in that box that's kind of fuzzy off to the side right there contains a, a 20 foot by 2 inch logistic ratchet e-strap with hooks and then a 6 by 2 inch and a, a 1 by 2 inch multi-use logistic strap so I'm gonna set I'm gonna set it up real quick you saw my video last night. I actually set that one up last night. I got it yesterday. And uh, I'm going to break out the Harbor Freight one that I picked up. The idea was that I'm going to be moving my my 50-ton press. weighs about 1,000 pounds, including my, uh, my two Milwaukee boxes, which I'll show you those. Well, I'll show you them at the end of the video. But what was interesting... I found a two Bible verses on the underside of the plastic as I was installing it. So I'm gonna see if it's some guy, you know, in the manufacturer manufacturing a plant or something. It does say uh, made in the USA. So maybe it's some. I don't know if you can see it right, right there made in the USA. So it's not made in China or Taiwan or one of those places. Um, maybe some guy who wanted to make sure he gets the word out there. But I'm going to install them or pretty much uh, get that one unboxed and install. I'll show you what pretty much comes in the box. And then you can snap as many of these using those little, this is right there. And including the straps, you can snap it from that end or that end, and you can make it wide or you can make it long. You can just make a huge train. And then I have right there, you see the hole right there, and then there's one right here. It actually accepts a, a handle. Um, well, I have a handle coming just so I can use it for that purpose. But for my purpose, I got the, the large 1500 capacity because I mean, the bigger the better. They also have a 1800 capacity, and I think that's based on the wheels. Um, 450 pound capacity per wheel. Each wheel, like the, the two that's facing us right here, they're non locking, and then it has the brakes on the opposite side. Something that I will probably do eventually, um, not really critical right now, I'll just get brakes on all of them. Just because if you have a load and you need to apply the brakes right away or something, you don't want to have to like go on the opposite side of the load to try to uh, apply the brake or something, especially if it's like rolling back at you. So that's something that I'm going to do. And uh, I might modify it with the, if, I might just get the, the brakes, the complete brake set. So that would be mean, that would just mean four new wheels, uh, 450 pounds each, just for the largest capacity uh, rating. And, uh, and just make sure they all have brakes on them. But this this is, I mean, this is, this is huge. So I'll show you at the end of the video, I'll show you the toolboxes that I'm gonna plan to move. Um, chances are gonna have to empty it. I'll show you the Harbor Freight one. It's not really a comparison, but I'll show you what you're getting for, um, I wanna say 10 to 12 times your money, but the quality. Uh, but anyway, let's get, what's, let's get in the box here and then I'll show you what I plan to use to lift up my my press and my toolbox, which I believe the toolbox is overweight for that system. So let's show you real quick what's in the box. Assemble it. Uh, we don't need these. And I do have my my trusty uh, DeWalt uh, box cutter right here. I've been using it a lot on the floor lately to cut like uh, wraps and stuff, and I've just been dragging it. So the, the I need to replace the blade. Anyway, this thing comes in a really robust box which in fact I'm gonna repurpose for in a husky, husky
the work table I have. Since I have two of these boxes, I'm just gonna cut one end, cut the ends off and just kind of make them up. Just make one. The only reason I'm doing it is because I'm moving. It has these like heavy duty um, staples in there. So you just gotta make sure that you don't get cut by them or they don't come flying out, poking you in the eye or something. Or don't stab me. Go ahead and stab yourself with them. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty vicious. So, I'll just uh, set it on top of this one and I'll, uh, I'll spin it around. And uh, here we got the, the braking system. It's like friction. The, the manual does talk about if it's, you've got a really heavy load on here, it could overcome the brakes and the, the system could still roll. So the brakes are engaged right now. So it comes with some, some packing material. Normally I throw this stuff away, but since I'm, I'm in the process of moving, I'll be using those to, you know, beef up my boxes. We got these uh, all-terrain caster set, quantity of one. And another. So, so two uh, caster sets, and the boxes are different. Um, different sizes there. And then the main platform right here. Leave that. And then your uh, your hardware. So we'll toss this box to the side, make sure we're still in focus here with the camera. Um, so I can I can definitely bring it in a little bit. Sorry about the shakiness. I can definitely bring it in. About right there. <coughs> so let's go ahead. See. Throwing stuff away. Hmm. This is a uh, This is quite interesting. I just I just picked it up and tossed it and this bolt fell out including these two little uh, This bolt fell out including this little black thing in this bag. And from yesterday, I don't recall, I don't recall getting these two little black things. And I think what these are for, are for, you see those little dots right there? I think they're just meant to replace if they fall out. I don't know what this bolt is for, because last night when I, I did it, it did not, it definitely wasn't in that, uh, that thing, that previous hardware bag, so. We'll see. Anyway, I don't think. Yeah, I'm definitely curious. I'm gonna look at the manual and see if I uh, goof something up. I doubt I did. This is kind of strange. So, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure out of that box over there, I just literally pulled this bag out of there and it fell to the side. Wait. So this package says, it's a, it's a Dolly care kit. Like thanking you for your purchase. So I'm thinking the kids I purchased too, they gave me extra set of hardware. I think that's what this is, just an extra set of hardware that they just threw in one of the boxes, to be honest, because both of them came together. They were both odd, uh, ordered together and they came together. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is an extra set because I don't recall it being, in fact, the boxes over there, I'll double check. But I'll definitely keep that handy. So, uh, casters with brakes on them. 
I gotta make sure this thing is staying in focus. Casters with bricks on them. And then, this is your standard hardware that you get. You just get some nuts, some locking nuts. Um, and a pamphlet. So, and this is what I was saying. I was getting the, the handle. So that should be coming on Monday. So we'll add that over there. I don't think I want to see any more boxes for a while after I get done here. And this should contain uh, the two none locking but still swivel six inch rubber, solid rubber wheels. And uh, I'll point this out right now before I fully install it. So on the on the casters, it does have a Zerg fit in right there for you to lube it up. My lube gun is packed away, so I won't be doing that. So hopefully it doesn't break. And then on the one with the brakes, you have one right there. And actually, and then you have one on the inside right here. I've never seen that before, but this has two. Let's see. Oh yeah, they all have two on the the break in or the the lock in and non locking ones. They both have. Um, so that was pretty cool. So we got our casters, and then let's see if we have a Bible verse inscribed in here. Yep. So I think it wasn't just some random guy. You can't really see it. The camera's like. Yep, there we go. Somewhat. There it is. The bottom one, John 3, 16. The top one is uh, 1 King 7, 30 through 37. All right. These things, they weigh approximately, I don't know, they at least have a heavy caution sticker on it. I want to say, oh, here we go. 37 pounds with the box and all the package. So. All right, let's get this bad boy installed. We'll just flip it over on top of here. The instructions, I mean, Pretty sure. I'll just take a moment here. Yeah, these little. I'm pretty sure this is just a a baggie of extra hardware. I can see the black stuff poking through here. In case you lose them, you can just fill them back in. As far as the long screw, though, I don't know what that's for. Um, so we'll we'll secure that bag. Make sure we don't lose it. We'll flip this on top. So on top of there, just make sure you guys can see that you have, you can see the studs, you can see them sticking up on all of them. They're like already built into this thing, into the plastic. And it does tell you to like pull up on them to make sure they're, they're good. They're not like bottomed out or something. Of note, this metal piece comes out. There you go. So this thing actually comes out. I don't know why you'd want to take it out, but because this is the main, the main frame, the heartbeat of this thing. And then it looks like it might come apart. There we go. So it does come apart. It does come apart in multiple, in multiple pieces. Just in case you want to look at the quality of this stuff, but we'll just get it slide back in here. It should all match up. And if you do it right, it should just fall back in here. Which clearly, 
I did it a little bit too much. So it's in, it's back in. Ooh. So that's just to show you that you can take it out. Uh, as far as the break-in, it doesn't matter what side you put it on. If, even if you have two, because you can always flip it around. They do have the, the quick lock, the E-lock on each, each side of the metal. So you can put it wherever you want it. So off note, I know you can't really see this and uh, I'll kind of bring you in, but Let's see if I can bring you in real quick. So this was uh, throwing me off yesterday. Let's see if I can. Uh... So you can see the, you can't really see it that well. But basically if you try to put a nut on here, it doesn't have enough protrusion. And basically what you wanna do is make sure this, uh, this metal piece is actually bottomed out. So maybe use a, a hammer and tap it so it's kind of flush. It's kind of just sitting up right now. So when I put it over the studs, it's actually making contact with this platform. Sorry, I would have to show you from the side, but that should make sense if you have, if you're struggling to, like, to install that stuff. Yesterday, and I was like, "Man, this thing." Yeah. So this side needs some uh, some persuasion. Like they're all flush, maybe, maybe because I, maybe when I flipped it around, I messed it up. Maybe it goes in a certain way or whatever. All right, that looks better. see a lot of gap on this side. This is this is bugging me now. Because it doesn't sit flat. You know what? I think the metal is warped. I can it's almost like I can see a bow in it. Uh, but if I can get some of the threads to catch on here Sorry, this is taking a little bit longer than I thought. But. And then got my old tr hus trusty Husky 12 volt cordless ratchet. It's not battery powered, you gotta plug it in and charge it, but it's, it's like a 12 volt. It's one of my, my OGs that I keep for occasions like this. I mean, I have Milwaukee and all that stuff. But... Yeah, this one is bugging me. All right, so this might just be a off-camera fix because these ones they actually and if I can get the threads to grab a little bit, I can then use the the screw to to pull that thing up towards the, 
but anyway i think i've i'm not going to continue this video all the way just in case it's going to get long with having to fix this but at the end of the day you put on all your your casters and um you get this really really robust um unit you get that really robust unit and i'll show you here in a second So I'm gonna use this to I gotta move my uh little harbor free jack out of the way real quick. I'm gonna move this over here. So basically what I'm gonna do is put my, this is two toolboxes, but this is just for demonstration. You can see the height of the, the height of the dolly is at the top of this uh, frame right here. So if I can get it centered in the middle of it, get my dolly centered in the middle of this, my toolbox on top of it, uh, this one is definitely uh, greater than 1,500 pounds by itself. So we'll have to take some of the tools out of there. Um, that one, I doubt it. And then I'm also limited by this thing that's uh, double line, which it is right now. You can see the, the line is hooked up there and it's like through that block right there. So it's doubled versus if I just had that single line coming down. It's a uh, double line is 2,200 pounds, single line is 1,100 pounds, but I don't typically need the length, so I just do, use double line. So I'm gonna use it, and then my uh, my shock press over there, it's about 1,000 pounds. So between those, I wanted the height, the shock press, I'm gonna get it laid on its side on one of the, on that the opposite side where that yellow is, that crank handle. Just because on this side it has a reservoir. So I'm gonna get it laid on that side because this would make it too tall to go through the garage door. But using that hoist, I'm gonna lift it up and put it on this and then we're gonna roll it up the, the truck ramp. But that's why I got this. And then I had to pull this one out real quick see if I can get this thing out anyway I can't get it out but this is the Harbor Freight uh, version you can see they try to let's see if I can uh, they try to put a, a frame in there but there's nothing on that side sorry it's kind of stuck right here um, that's what the bottom of it looks like I actually got two of them and then you can see this caster is just a basic like four inch caster. It's kind of stuck, that's how I'll take it out. So that's the reason why I, I went with these. Um, just way more robust, bigger tires, all terrain. Granted, I'm not planning to roll something this heavy across mushy ground or anything. Anyway, this video is long, but it looks like this uh, steel frame is gonna need a little bit of persuasion. Uh, basically, what I'm running into, you can see it right there. It's like slightly elevated. You know, you can see the, the top of the plastic right there and the stud is like slightly elevated and the studs are all the way up. Uh, whereas this one, it's completely, it's relatively flush. So I'm also running into the same issue right here where this one is elevated. But what I'm thinking is if I can get a little bit of thread on it, I can then, you know, screw it on there and use the, the threads to pull the, the casters down and push this push this down. So I'm gonna go battle with that. This is the stuff I was showing you in the extra bag that I got, um, at least the backside of it. 
and then you know we'll end on that so like me always say like on don't hit the team